Hello, everybody. My name is Elliot Fisk, and I just played for you a piece by the great French composer Albert Roussel. So the first part is, of course, easy. If we just had to play this, and we had lots of time, we could do it quite easily. So maybe a first thing that you could do would be just to get a feel for that. And then you can add onto that. So we have to practice this. Look at this. And then. Now he varies that in, with another secondary dominant. Now let's talk about this chord, how we create that famous Segovia vibrato. It's created really, first of all, you put the fourth finger on the side of the, If I do this, no way I'm going to get that kind of sound. So part of it is the way you put the fourth finger down on the side. You want the finger to be a little bit unsteady. Now, let's look at another lovely aspect of this piece, which is we have essentially the same thing that we had, remember, in the Bach prelude? Harmony staying the same at the top, and the bass moving down. The harmony, these three notes stayed the same. The bass moved, the bass moved, the bass moved, and the bass moved. We have the same thing here, of course, in a completely different context. These top notes are staying the same, and the bass is going down by, sta by step. So that these, we have that wonderful dissonance here.